So, if all you guys remember, a few days ago, Summer Sistina and Summer Lisa was announced on the Japanese version of the game. And they'll be coming out to global probably within the next, like, eight months or something like that. Either way, in that news update, also, it was a video on the channel and reaction video. Make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. Only Summer Sistina was shown off, and we only knew about her kit, and we didn't know about Summer Lisa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today we know about Lisa's kit. And it's time for us to examine this kit and see whether or not if it's meta-breaking or not. Will this character be good? Or will she kind of just be whatever? Will she be better than her other counterpart? Probably not, let's be honest here, chat. But I guess we won't know for sure until we take a look at her. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. This is Summer Lisa. As you see here, she has a 5-star magic, 5-star physical, and a 4-star support. With her skill, she's able to heal all water allies HP, by a thousand. With her art, she's able to increase her own arc age by 20, and then for 40 seconds, she decreased the enemy damage resist by 15%. This is stackable, by the way. That's pretty good. And then we have her true art, which is able to increase everyone's magic and critical damage by 100% for 15 seconds. That's pretty massive. That's really good. That's double dipping in two different damage buffs there. We have her passives, which are high tension summer. You increase your own arc age by 100 at the start of the quest. And when HP is above 80%, you increase your own crit rate by 100%. You also increase paralysis resistance and evasion by 80%. And you increase your own arc gauge by 3 per second. One thing that strikes me kind of weird about this unit is the fact that she has a skill that heals only water allies. And none of her kit is revolving around water apart from just her skill. Of course, she's dealing water damage, right? But nothing else is like requiring you to have other water units, only her skill, which is kind of a little odd to me. I don't really understand the design choice behind that, but it is what it is. How good is this unit? Well, stackable damage resist on the art is pretty nice in like longer fights, of course, and she is getting a refund of 20 art gauge every time she uses her art. So really, in theory, her art only costs 80 art gauge, which is pretty solid. Of course, though, if you're using her in more nuke compositions, you're not going to be stacking this art too much. Her true art, though, I think is extremely loaded with the magic and crit damage buffs. The only thing that is also just why is the fact that they went really low on her true art multiplier. Like, if you guys don't know, 36k nowadays is like nothing. That is extremely low. And most characters now usually have around like 40k plus to 50k plus. And I'm assuming they went with this because she's giving off so many damage buffs with the true art anyway. That she's going to be hitting pretty hard, I'm assuming. And to not mention too, she's also able to give herself 100% crit rate. So she has a lot going for her in that regard. And by the way, this true art is what's carrying her. If she had like a weaker true art, I don't think a lot of people would really care. But for the fact that you could possibly get 200% damage up in theory just by being a magic unit and also critting an enemy... That's pretty crazy. It's like a hybrid character. If you want like crit damage 100% up, you could use, you know, Lisa there. If you want magic damage 100% up, you could use Lisa there. Or if you want both, you know, which is going to be the best case scenario, you could use Summer Lisa there and be perfectly fine. I don't think this character is going to be super meta, especially in terms of damage. That's really not what you're going to be using her for. She's more of a sub attacker. You know, should definitely want to be supporting like other damage dealers that's going to be hitting harder than her. And I definitely don't think that she's better than her light counterpart, but this this one's not bad. This one's pretty good. It has potential to be pretty freaking broken when used in the right situations. A few things that I would have changed with Summer Lisa though is I really wish that they would have gave her a five star support. Since she's supposed to be more of this sub attack role, it kind of is a little bit weird to me why she has two physical and magic slots. Because if you guys don't know, this gives you a thousand attacks. So this is most of the time what you see on a lot of attackers. Think of someone like Simon where he has two five star magics, so it gives him an additional plus at one thousand attack. But for Summer Lisa to have it, it's kind of a little bit off-putting because yes she's going to be dealing some damage but her main role is buffing up everyone else's damage and not just you know hard capping on her own damage because let's face it even with her buffs being the way that they are you know the 100% crit rate she gives herself as long as she's above 80% hp she's only going to be able to hit so hard because of that true art multiplier you know other characters are going to be able to hit a lot harder uh, think about using her alongside like mikey if you want more crit damage dragon you know what i'm saying or let's say you're using her on more of a magic team so you know you're using stuff like summer juno or maybe regular juno they're going to out damage summer Lisa by a long shot. So it's a little bit weird that they didn't go the five star support route. That's how I feel about Summer Lisa. Tell me down below how you guys are feeling about this character. I think that she's going to be really good as a sub attacker. As a damage dealer on her own, I don't think she's going to be that great just because you guys know the damage dealers we have nowadays. W way too broken. But either way, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for coming out, fam. It's been your boy OP. If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you check out either one of the videos popping up on your screen right now, like this Summer Sestina video. If you haven't checked that out yet, go check it out so you know what Summer Sestina does and you can see my reaction to the summer units. And oh yeah, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.